Let's take a look at how to solve an equation that is not a quadratic equation, but it's in a quadratic format. Step one is to check that the middle variable, in this case it would be x cubed, squared is the same as the first variable. So x cubed squared is x to the six. So because that is true, we proceed to the next um, step. The second step is to let u equal that middle variable, x cubed. So u is going to equal x cubed. Step three is to square u and square what u equals. So that means that u squared will equal x to the sixth which it should end up being that first term and u is the middle term. Step four is to substitute u, so here's my u, and u squared back into the original equation for what they are equal to. So x to the sixth is what u squared is. So instead of x to the sixth, I'm going to write u squared. And then I have minus six, u cubed is equal to u, so then it's a u, minus seven equals zero. So now what we have is a quadratic equation as opposed to an equation that's x to the sixth power. So then the next step here is to factor this now quadratic equation. So we're looking for the factors of seven that add or subtract a six, so we have u minus seven and u plus one. Then we're gonna go ahead and solve for u. So here, u is going to equal seven, and u will equal negative one. Now the only problem with that is that we're not trying to solve for u, we're trying to figure out what x is. So now, we're going to replace what u equaled, so it was u equals x cubed. We're gonna plug that back in for u. So x cubed equals seven, and x cubed equals negative one. And we're going to go back and solve for x. So to get rid of a cube, you take the cube root of both sides, and so we'll do that on both equations. So here I get x equals the cube root of seven, and also x equals the cube root of negative one, which is still negative one. And those would be your answers for x. However, there is a situation where you do need to check your answers. So you wanna check your solutions into the original equation or problem. If your original problem started out with an x to the one half or a square root of x. All right, so those are the steps for solving an equation that is not quadratic, but in quadratic form. All right, let's try a couple more examples here. So if I have x minus x to the one half minus 12, first we're gonna check that this middle term, x to the one half, if I were to square it, it becomes my first term, and it is, so, that means that we will set u equal to that middle variable. Not the whole term, but just whatever the variable is. Then we square both sides of that. So x to the 1 half squared is x. And then we're going to do the substitution. So x is equal to u squared, so I have u squared minus x to the one half is our u, minus 12 equals zero. Okay, so then we now have an equation that's in quadratic form as opposed to just an equation that is not very pretty. So once we have the quadratic form, let's go ahead and factor. The factors of 12 are four and three. So there we go. So that means that u is equal to four and u is equal to three.
So what we're going to do is then replace what u equals back into the equation. So I have x to the 1 half equals 4. Sorry, that should be a negative 3. Um, let's look at that fixed. And then I have x to the 1 half equals negative 3. So to solve both sides there, or both of these equations, here you would square both sides, so we end up with x equals 16. And then here we would square both sides. And we have x equals negative 3 squared would be 9. Now, because our original problem started out with a 1 half power, which means square root, we do need to check for extraneous solutions. So I'm going to come back here and go 16 minus 16 to the 1 half which just means the square root of 16, minus 12, does that equal 0? Does 16 minus 4 minus 12 equal 0? It does, so x equals 16 is a solution. Now let's try x equals 9, so I would have 9 minus 9 to the 1 half power, which is the square root of 9, minus 12 equals 0, is 9 minus 3 minus 12 equal to 0? No, it does not. That equals negative 6. So that means that x does not equal 9, and our only solution then is x equals 16.